Yeah. All right, well, somebody was listening. <laughs> There's a minimum and it's quadratic. It depends on the square of the distance. So it isn't two straight lines away from the minimum. It's a, it's a parabola. All right, I, that, I, I just want to say one more thing and then I'll pass out the quiz. Um, we'll talk about this a lot next time. Interactions. We're, we've re we're representing interactions in terms of energies with potential energies. But you already know that interactions can be represented by forces. The Earth is pulling down on this ball right now. The Earth is putting a force on it that's straight down. In order to keep the ball from falling and keep it right there, I have to hold on to it and pull up with the same force. So forces is another way of representing interactions. It turns out that if the potential energy changes with height, which it does, it's lower this way, then there's always a force toward lower potential energy. The gravitational force is down because it decreases the potential energy. What's the lowest potential energy for this thing? It's right where it is right now. If I pull it down, there's a force upward trying to pull it to lower potential energy. If I push up, there's a force downward trying to pull it to lower potential energy. The reason it oscillates is because at equilibrium, there's no force on it. When it's up above, there's something pulling down to try to bring it closer to, to try to lower the potential energy. And when it's down below, there's something pulling upward to try to lower the potential energy. That's what forces do.